Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to create a Windows VM with accelerated networking using the Azure PowerShell. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Before we start creating a VM with accelerated networking, let me talk about accelerated networking. What it does, it enables single root IO virtualization to the VM which improves the networking performance. And this high performance uh, path bypasses the host from the data path, which reduces latency and uh, CPU utilization for most demanding uh, network workloads on supported VM types. So if you would see that without accelerated networking, all networking traffic in and out of the VM must traverse the host and the virtual switch. The virtual switch provides all policy enforcement, such as network security groups, access control list, isolations, and other network virtualized services to the network traffic. But when the accelerated networking is on, network traffic arrive at the VM NIC and it's then forwarded to the VM. All network policies that the virtual switch applies are now offloaded and applied in hardware. And because the policy is applied in hardware, the NIC can forward network traffic directly to the VM. So to sum up, the benefits would be it provides low latency, reduce uh, reduced the jitterness of the traffic or the CPU performance is optimized and it also decreases the CPU utilization. And when you want to enable accelerated networking on a running VM, so a supported VM size without accelerated networking enables can only have the feature enabled when it's supported, when it's stopped and deallocated. So you cannot enable the accelerated networking on a VM when, while the VM is running. So first of all, we'll have to We'll have to create the VM. Okay, so I'm going to create it using the PowerShell. So if I launch the Cloud Shell, so I'm going to first of all create the new resource group. It will be named My Resource Group and it will be under Central US location. I hit Enter. It is created and now I will create a new subnet configuration with the name my subnet with the address prefix as 192.168.1.0.24. It will create it and you can do all of these things using the Azure portal as well. I'm just doing it from the PowerShell. Okay, this is done. Now I will create a new virtual network which I will create it in the central US location okay and it will be address prefix as 192.168.0.0 slash 16 and the name of the virtual network is my VNet it's in the central US location and subnet would be the one that I created with the name my subnet and address prefix as 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So after this command is completed successfully, I would see a virtual network whose uh, address prefix would be 192.168.0.0 slash 16 and I would have a subnet inside it. So let me see if this works fine or not. Okay, and now with this command, I am creating a new network security group which will allow the 3389 port to be open and allow me to RDP to the VM. And now I will also associate the network security group to the virtual network that I created by running this command. I am I copy pasted it that is why I have to remove these spaces ok 
Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it completed successful. And now I am creating a network interface with the accelerated networking option enabled. So if you would see the last option which says enable accelerated networking if you do not specify it it will not be enabled but let's say if you want to do it after the vm i am doing it while the creating of the vm and then associating that network interface card to the virtual machine but let's say you created a virtual machine and you did not enable network the accelerated networking then you would have to stop that virtual machine deallocate it so it should be in deallocated and stopped condition and then you will be able to enable the uh, accelerated networking onto the NIC of that VM with the help of a script or with the help of the command. So I am doing it because I am creating this VM and I'm doing it step by step. So what I did was when I attached when I enabled the accelerated networking onto that NIC. Now I created a new VM and made sure that I attach that NIC to the VM that I am creating. And when and when this VM would be created, then we will check that we'll make sure that the accelerated networking is turned on onto the NIC of this VM. Okay, my VM is done and if I go to my virtual machines just to make sure that I see this VM, this is my VM and if you go to networking, click on networking under settings and this is the NIC, my NIC, the name of the NIC is my NIC and if you would see the properties of this NIC, you would see that the accelerated networking is on. On stern VM accelerated networking is on, but if you want to make sure that the Ethernet controller is already installed, is all is installed on this VM, go to this VM, uh, grab the public IP or whatever way you want to connect to it, then log on to this VM. If you log on to this VM and get a pop-up to enter your credentials and after you connect to this VM let's wait after you connect to this VM go to device manager device and go to dvm.msc and here you will see the network adapters and you will see this and you can check out the properties and make sure that uh, from the portal also that it is working fine on the accelerated networking so this is how you want to. now let's say I want to disable the accelerated networking onto the SNC you will see that if I go to properties I do not have an option to enable disable it from the portal when this VM is running or VM so I go to this I should go to this VM I should click on stop click on OK and when you click on OK it will enter into the stop state it will take some time but it will eventually stop ok now when the VM is stopped pull up your Azure Cloud Shell again clear the screen so that you see the latest command so to disable it first of all I stopped my virtual machine then I got the NIC information for this uh, the name of the NIC on my machine so if I show you again go to networking 
the name of my NIC and the name of the virtual machine and the resource group in which my virtual machine is, right? And then you will store this information like, okay, now I want to set the accelerated networking to false because it was already set up. Do this and now do this. And when after running this command, when you will fire up your VM again, you will come refresh the browser, come into this NIC properties and you will see that the accelerated networking is turned off. So now if I go to my VM and I start my VM, okay, the VM is on. I'm going to refresh the browser. Why not? It is started. I go to networking. Go to my NIC. I go to properties. Accelerated networking is off. So I hope you like this. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.